Hey everybody, hope you're having a great Friday. Um, it's Stephanie again, not Clay. And I wanted to take a minute to share something with you. Um, so as you may have heard in some of our videos that recently, I am pregnant. I am 32 weeks pregnant. We are expecting a girl soon. And if you've ever been in your third trimester, you might know that that means nesting. And what nesting means is that this Saturday <laughs> is that you want to clean everything, right? So the past couple of weeks, every time I walked into my kitchen, instead of seeing the beautiful kitchen that I fell in love with when we moved into the house with the beautiful cabinets and the, the tile flooring and the handles that I love, I've been seeing all the fingerprints on them. I've been seeing every little speck of spaghetti sauce that ended up on a cabinet that hasn't been cleaned up yet. Um, and for weeks, that's all I could see. I would walk in there and my eyes would go right to every single smudge. I had a, I knew exactly where every, every single one was and that's what, that's what I would look at every single time. So this Saturday in my nesting, I finally got out the, the rag and the pine saw and the hot water and we... Me and my two-year-old daughter, we, we scrubbed those, ca those uh, cabinets down. But it's interesting because for a while, that was all I could see. And I was always looking for them, always looking at them, and I wasn't even thinking about how blessed I was to have this beautiful space, this beautiful house, this kitchen that I love. I was just seeing the mess, which wasn't even really that messy, to be honest. Um, and I think that this mindset kind of seeped into my life a little bit recently. We were talking at Bible study the other day about imagination and we can't conceive of something. We can't um, have anything happen to us that we don't first imagine, but we can imagine things in a negative light or we can imagine things in a positive light and that's called hope. And so when I was getting to this place where all I was imagining, all I was seeing was the negatives, um, I started to just see the negatives in my own life too and start to pick apart everything that I was doing wrong as a teacher, a wife, a mother, a student, instead of seeing the positives, instead of seeing the blessings, instead of being anticipating the promises and the greatness that God has for me in those roles and the, the redemption that I have in those roles, I was just seeing everything that I was doing wrong. And in Luke chapter 6, um, it says that out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So the things that we ruminate on, the things that we put in our minds and in our spirits, starts to become like that out of that overflow is what we start to say, is what we start to think about, is what we start to imagine. So I had to check myself and realize, wow, what I'm putting in my heart, what I'm filling my thoughts up with is not positive. I'm just seeing everything that's wrong and there's always going to be something to find that's wrong. Um, so I realized I had a choice and so do you. So I encourage you this this weekend as you're going into your weekend um, to choose what you ruminate on, choose what you fill your heart up with because whatever you're focusing on internally, that is what is going to come out on the outside. Thanks for taking a minute.